What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're actually going to go ahead and we're actually going to pull apart my son's wagon that I've been working on for the past year now. We are actually going to pull apart. We're going to start doing like a, maybe a metal top. I'm thinking about maybe cutting it off, bringing the roof up, bringing it out and down. So it kind of gives them a little bit more shade from the, uh, the sun. Also, I also have a five month old baby. So I'm going to try to incorporate something, either a roof basket to have his car seat latch onto. And then I'm also going to be installing some jazzy motors in the rear. So with the next couple of weeks, I'm going to try to get some videos out. I'm going to quarantine probably just like the rest of you. Um, so I'm going to try to give you some videos to watch while everybody's under quarantine. Everybody I watch. I watch Street Speed 717. I watch uh, uh, Dirty Max Jack. I watch, you know, Work for the Carol, you know, D-Max Rhino. I watch all those guys, you know, just try, try to keep my mind off of everything with what's going on right now. I'm trying to... Spent some time with my son, as you can see, he's in the background. He's going to give me a hand pulling this thing apart right now. We're going to show you uh, how this thing went together. We're going to do it in reverse. We're going to pull it apart, and then I'm going to show you how to weld up the uh, the rear with the motors and everything in a different video. But this video is basically going to be strictly just for pulling it apart, so you can see how it kind of goes together and how simple these builds actually are. So let's dive right into it. First, we're going to go right to the handle, you know, just the crutch that's going to pull right off. Next, we got these wheels. We're gonna pull the wheels off, makes it a little yeah. bit lighter. So we'll yeah. grab a tool. What's up, buddy? Yeah, and paint it. Yep, and we're gonna paint it. Yep, we're gonna pre-paint the whole thing. Uh, we're gonna pair of pliers. We're gonna repaint everything. All right. Basically, you can. Just has one of these little, you know, clips in it. Yeah. With the washer so it doesn't spin on it. The wheel just slides right off, just like that, guys. So we're gonna put this wheel off to the side. We're gonna take these and just set them right here up on the, the crate for right now. Let's pull the rest of them off. See where that buddy can you put that over there by the tire for me? Thank you. Right over there. Where? Right by the tire. Dad, what is that water doing there? I don't know. It hasn't rained. Here, put this tire over there. Oh! Here, put the tire over the other one, buddy. See, this is one thing I love. I got my son out here showing him how to do stuff like this. As you can tell, he likes helping out. He doesn't mind. He's one of those kids that rather be outside working on his stuff with his dad instead of sitting inside on video games. Here, buddy. Yep. And then I know play. Now I know how to play Xbox. Yeah, and he knows how to play Xbox. And Especially during quarantine, that's the only thing he really can do. And then I got a lot of games. Now, what happened? You have lots of games. Wait, for being out here with Daddy, right? Yeah. Here, there's another tire for you. Just wheel it, just push it like that. Over to the other one. Well, I could do a quick muncher jam. Yep. Get this off so we can see the other side. I want to paint on the iPhone. Well, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna work on it. We're gonna pull most of it apart tonight, and then we're gonna go from there. Okay. Next, basically got a flathead with the nut on the end to hold the other half of the, of the other crutch, I guess you could say, because the crutch goes as the uh, handle. So we're going to pull this off next. And, 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 and that way the water out. Yep. Yeah. 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 So I know how it works, so, so I know. But I always will pop it. No, I'm talking about your fan more. I'm talking about your fan more. Back to the camera. Yeah. Ow, my feet. Throw the bolts 
inside so we don't lose them. Oh. <laughs> definitely use bolts in this instead of flatheads. Probably make it a lot easier. <laughs> when you get done, you get, get it all painted and all the pink up stuff on the threads. They work a little harder to get it off. And should have made it a uh, Phillips instead of a flathead. Probably be even better. I hope I wasn't using a pair of channel locks to hold the nut. But this isn't going back on like I said, we're actually gonna make a top four and that's gonna hold the windshield. off, buddy. You gotta pull the headlights off, the grill, and the cooler. Okay. That'll be pretty much it until I get the uh, motors mounted. Okay. But see, like I said, guys, this is not a very hard deal. Um, I explained my other videos, you know, it's very simple. If you know how to weld, you get a simple welder. Like I said, this, the frame on it is a bed frame. I have a over. Can you guys grab bigger over there? And then uh, an old tractor seat, old wagon wheel. Yep, a little uh, wheelbarrow and some piping and some axles from yeah, one wagon that I just flipped upside down just so it would drop this closer to the ground. In the front, this is an inch and three quarter off the ground. In the back, it's about two inches off the ground. So it's pretty low. No! <laughs> Very talk to the camera, huh? Alright, let's go. Let me hang it in this up. Let's see if I get this out without breaking it because it's very rusty from that water in here. No one gets in it, come out, so I'm gonna have to get a pair of, not a pair, but a wrench on it. Hopefully, and I got a fitter hat. Remember, hopefully, I remember the right size, right? Yeah, and now I'm gonna add much of jam with my daddy, my mommy, and my jacket. It's actually smaller than I thought. Probably a 10 millimeter. What do you think, buddy? 10 millimeter? No, 5,000. What's that? 5,000. 5,000, guys. Okay, 5,000. 1,000. Nothing wants to fit. I guess I don't remember any of these sizes on this thing. Yeah, that hammer. 
Don't always get hurt with the hammer, huh? Now because it's heavy. Alright. So that's up. What I'm going to do is now is pick up on it. And as you can tell, I'm going to put it on camera, but I've got two bolts holding it down. Two bolts for each. Each uh, header, buddy. things I got left now is the headlights and the grill and we're gonna pull this off just so everything will be off. Alright buddy, you wanna get that in and get in the sock now? These I know they are definitely a half inch or 13 millimeter, whatever you want to call it. We all know that they're like literally a hair off from each other. Second, 
Take the seat off tonight or should I take it off tomorrow? Take it off right now. Right now? Yep. We gotta take this off as well. Now nothing is ever sized the same on this. in the house. And that, guys, that's pretty much going to wrap up this video. Okay, go. It's okay. Let's walk through it. That pretty much wraps up. As you can tell, this thing came apart pretty quick. There's not much here. I'm going to show you guys the parts that we got laying there. You can tell that's all the parts we have. Like I was trying to tell you guys earlier before, this is where that brace is gonna mount up and you got the switch I still gotta take this out seat might get a new seat that seat's pretty hard but we'll, we'll figure that out that seat has to come out yet yeah. and in the back over here yeah I still gotta take my son's place plate off but um from basically this here this here it's probably gonna come off and probably gonna drill holes this probably is going to come off. I'm probably going to drill holes down here to mount straight down so I can get rid of this. Because this axle is no longer going to be here. Probably going to put it on that wagon over there. I'm going to build for my nephew. I'm just going to get another uh, little barrel. But anyway, for this wagon, this is going to come off. Go on the other wagon over there. This, These supports are going to come out. The motors for the Jazzy is going to be mounted under here. The batteries, I don't know how big the batteries are. I gotta figure out how big the batteries are because if I can mount the batteries on here, I prefer because I don't want to get rid of the cooler. I kind of like having the cooler. And then the wires are going to be ran up to the switch, kind of like on my pre previous suit, as I told you about. 
and there's going to be a uh, handle, kind of like when you're using the jazzy, the handle on the jazzy. That's going to operate to go forward and back, and then there'll be a switch up by the grill. I'm going to make a new grill for it, because that grill actually weighs probably about 7 to 8 pounds. Get something a little lighter, and that'll be it for that. As you can tell, this is actually bent. I've actually hit a tree with it and actually bent it, so i got to replace that before I put it on the other wagon. That one's still straight. But that's the only thing because it's a hollow pipe so you get these big meaty tires on with the kid and all the way you hit something it's gonna bend so i gotta stick a solid rod in there for the other build but other than that that's pretty much it we're gonna probably be going with a uh, different color and we're probably gonna stick with the scalps whether they're gonna be white or not i'm not sure but we're gonna try to stick with the same theme just that i want to get all redone freshened up for this summer and Add a few more extras, like I said, the roof. I don't know how I want to do it yet. Um, I want to use that for the roof. Kind of incorporate a windshield in the front of that, windows on the side and the back. So that's it. That's that for that. I'm going to show you guys that build as soon as I get done with this one to keep you guys entertained while the quarantine's going on. There's the uh, the bolts. I got two holes. And I got that bolt right there in the middle. That is the drain hole. And you got the brake light, you got the headlights, the bottom of the uh, the handle. Yeah, and like I said, this this is actually pretty heavy, so there's no reason to have something that heavy on there. Then you got, like I said, the steering wheel. It's probably not going to go back now. I'd probably make a different one for the because of the top. But that is pretty much it for this upload. And I got some diamond plate to put in the floor to dress it up a little bit. But that's pretty much for it for this uh, upload. Probably in the next two, three days, I'll have another upload for you. But as of right now, this is the only upload I'm going to put up. So keep an eye out. If you guys are visiting the channel for the first time, please subscribe. If you guys like this video, please hit that like. Helps us out a lot, us YouTubers. Um, supports our channel shows us that you guys really love our channel so if you could hit that like please do so and leave a comment below on how do you guys feel if i change this from black to maybe a like a fire engine red like i have over there on the other road barrel because uh i want to make this thing pop a little bit it kind of stands in with everything else because this is black black blends in i want something to stand out but that's it for this video i'll talk to you guys later please check out the next video thanks for watching